of resources resources are the things that help us to fulfill the necessity of life these are money machine and land natural resources are the valuable things which are provided to us by nature these are soils rocks fuels plants and animals we use these things in our daily lives these things are gift of all natural resources use of natural resources forests and grasslands are the natural resources that are helpful in many ways they provide us wood and grass to make paper we also get timber firewood and medicines in many ways people use the farms to graze animals in forests forests also provide us fruits vegetables honey bamboos and other things forests and grasslands provide natural home to the wild animals they also protect the soil from erosion and help the plants to hold firmly in the soil we can classify natural resources into two types renewable resources and non renewable resources renewable resources renewable resources are the source that can be used again if managed wisely they can be replaced living things like animals crops and forests are renewable resources such as water soil air and sun non renewable resources these resources cannot be used again if used once minerals like iron copper gold and fuels like coal and petroleum are non renewable resources burning of coal and petroleum cause harm to human lives renewable energy resources non renewable energy resources they cannot be exhausted and can be used again they cannot be used again if used once these are found in unlimited quantity these are found in limited quantity the renewable sources of energy are pollution free the non renewable sources of energy are not pollution free they have high maintenance cost they have low maintenance cost they emit low carbon they have high carbon emission solar energy wind energy and tidal energy are renewable source of energy coal petroleum and natural gas are non renewable source of energy renewable resources important renewable resources that are helpful for us in many ways are 1 air 2 water 3 soil 4 plants 5 animals 6 solar energy 7 wind energy air all living beings need oxygen for living to breathe we cannot survive in the absence of oxygen plants release oxygen and absorbs carbon dioxide in the atmosphere we use oxygen to burn fuels and other gases like nitrogen oxygen and some other gases in the air for many useful purposes for example nitrogen is used to fill food packages and prevents food from spoiling water there is no life without water about 70% of the world is composed of water we need water every day for various purposes such as cooking washing clothes drinking growing crops and many other things fresh water is obtained from rivers ponds and lakes and the water stored underground is called ground water salty water is not used for household work 
sea water is the main source of rain which renews our supply of fresh water a major part of the rain water flows in the rivers some of it is collected in tanks and lakes and some water seeps through the surface and gets collected under the ground a very large part of the rain water flows into the seas and oceans soil soil is the main source of food for plants plants draw water and minerals from the soil so without soil there would be no food soil is also the home of many small animals like worms and microorganisms soil is composed of rocky particles it is formed by the weathering of rocks by the time being the rocks become weak and crack down because of daily heating and cooling the roots of the plants grow in the cracks of rocks and break the rocks the small space in the soil contains air that provides oxygen which living cells need for living the water present in the soil particles move upward which helps in the growth of the plants an important function of soil is to store and supply nutrients to the plants soil also acts as a decomposer the remains of the dead plants and animals are buried in the soil plants plants are very important natural resources they provide oxygen to us for breathing and food in the form of vegetables fruits various nuts and cereals plants are the greatest provider of textiles and fabric materials the materials obtained from the plants are eco-friendly they provide jute cotton and other cloth materials for making clothes the wood from the plants are used for making furniture it is also used in villages by the villagers for cooking food by burning the wood obtained from them plants keep the environment clean because they release fresh air in the atmosphere so we should plant more and more trees for making our earth a cleaner and a greener place we also get important and valuable medicines from plants in the form of ayurveda useful in the treatment of various important diseases solar energy the energy derived from the sun is called as solar energy it is also called as solar power solar energy captures the sun rays to produce the photovoltaic power this energy is used to power automotives light pool power and other electronic gadgets it is the cleaner form of energy and it produces no pollution it can be used repeatedly wind energy wind energy is an important renewable source of energy it provides electricity across the world it is considered as an alternative to fuel it rotates wind turbine in the farmhouse for the production of electricity for supplying water to the plants this energy is used as a mechanical power which is transformed into electricity to generate powers animals animals are also called as wildlife it includes the organisms that live in forests grasslands oceans and lakes and so on some aquatic animals that are used by the humans for eating is one of the most important source of natural resources animals maintain the environmental balance we know that all organisms are linked together large animals eat the small animals and the small animals eat smaller animals when even one organism vanishes from areas the survival of many organisms comes in danger 
and since we are also connected to everything in the environment it affects us if a deer in the forest increases due to large multiplication they will eat all the plants and then human beings will not get anything to eat when an organism vanishes from many places it is called as an extinct animal and when very few of particular organisms are left in the place or in the world we call it as endangered non renewable resources of energy some of the important non renewable resources of energy are 1 coal 2 petroleum 3 minerals coal coal is a kind of sedimentary rock it is formed by the plants that died millions of years ago and got buried over millions of years ago these plants got buried deeper and deeper under the layer of rocks the pressure and heat under the earth changed them into coal coal is used as a fuel and in the preparation of fuel gas such as coal gas it is also used to obtain natural gas the burning of the coal causes large amount of smoke that results in air pollution it is a non renewable source of energy if used continuously it can be completely exhausted and can never be recovered back petroleum petroleum is found in the rocks it is formed by the sea organisms that died and got buried millions of years ago the buried organisms slowly formed petroleum due to the pressure of the heat under the earth petroleum is the dark sticky liquid purified in factories called as refineries the things that we get from petroleum are kerosene petroleum gas diesel grease and lpg it is also used to make plastics medicines and wax cosmetics also use petroleum for making certain beauty products it is composed of hydrocarbons with some other elements such as sulfur oxygen and nitrogen it is found in the oil wells in india the oil was first struck at makum in the year 1867 the oil fields of assam were the only source of petroleum in our country until about 40 years ago the important government agencies engaged in exploring and producing crude oil are ongc oil and natural gas corporation and oil india limited oil it is used as a fossil fuel minerals minerals are solid naturally occurring substances through which metal is extracted it is used for the preparation of various metals we use number of metals in our daily life such as iron aluminium copper and steel most of these minerals are found buried in the rocks rocks are made up of metals and non metals usually these substances are all mixed up together some rocks have a lot of particular metal or non metal so we call such rocks as ores india is rich in mineral deposits besides large quantities of iron ore we also have manganese mica copper zinc limestone diamond and gold Mica is used for making electrical goods. Gold and silver are used for making beautiful ornaments and jewelry.